ان الحمد لله نحمد تعالى ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهدي الله فهو محتد ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى اله وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحبه we are all in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of our affairs. All of us go through trials and tribulations. All of us has various struggles in our lives. And we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need his assistance. We need his favor. And one of the greatest ways and one of the greatest favors that the slave can have from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's assistance and support and help in all that they do. And especially Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor and assistance in worshiping Him and seeking His pleasure. Ayyuh al-Habba, Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala said in his book, مدارج السالكين بين المنازل إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. He said رحمه الله تعالى. He mentioned the category of four different types of people. قال ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى. فصل أقسام الناس في عبادتي واستعانة. إذا عرفت هذا فالناس في هذين الأصلين وهما العبادة والاستعانة أربعة أقسام ابن القيم رحمه الله تعالى said the chapter of the divisions of people regarding worship and seeking support from Allah سبحانه وتعالى and أيها الأحبة this is a case in which Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala is mentioning a specific type of ibadah with regards to the general, meaning that he mentions that these are the types of people with regards to worship. And, ha- and along with that, we know that isti'ana is a specific type of worship. Just as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ad-du'a huwa ibadah, that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam said in Sahih, uh, said in Tirmidhi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, that supplication is worship. Letting us know that not meaning that supplication is, is all worship. However, supplication is a type of worship. It is one way in which we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a dua. Then Ibn al Qayyim, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, So if you know, if you know this, meaning that people are in different levels or different categories regarding worship and seeking assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, isti'ana, seeking his help, then the people with regards to two, these two foundations, and they are worship and seeking assistance, are on four different categories or four different types. أجلها وأفضلها أهل العبادة والاستعانة بالله عليها في عبادة الله غاية مرادهم وطلبهم منه أن يعينهم عليها ويوفقهم للقيام بها ولهذا كان من أفضل ما يسأل الرب تبارك وتعالى الاستعانة على مرداته Ibn al-Qayyum then said that the best and the most profound of this type of these, these types of people that fall into the categories of worshipping Allah uh, ibadah and isti'ana of seeking assistance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship he said that the, the most profound and the best of them is the people who worship and seek support 
with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worshipping him and seeking support from him. Therefore, worship, the worship of Allah is, their, is the goal and it is the end result or the purpose. And they're seeking it from him. They're seeking from him his uh, assistance in doing it and his agreeance to help them in performing worship in seeking refuge in him or seeking his assistance. And he said, and with this, this makes it one of the best things that a person, that one can ask his Lord, Tabaraka wa Ta'ala, is that it is seeking assistance in his pleasure. Then he said, وَهُوَ الَّذِي عَلَّمَهُ نَبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لِحُبِّهِ مُعَاذِ بِنْ جَبَلْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَنَا عَنْهُ فَقَالَ يَا مُعَاذِ وَاللَّهِ إِنِّي لِأُحِبُّكَ فَلَا تَنْسَى أَنْ تَقُولَ دُبْرَ كُلِّ صَلَاةٍ أَلَهُمَ عَنِّي أَلَى ذِكْرِكَ وَشُكْرِكَ وَحُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكَ then Ibn al-Qayyum, he said, mentioning, he said, وَهُوَ الَّذِي عَلَّمَهُ Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam That Allah is the one who taught the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to his, uh, had the messenger teach, Allah taught the messenger alayhi salatu wa sallam and he said to his beloved Mu'adh ibn Jabal رضي الله تنع عنه and he said, O Mu'adh, Wallahi, I love you. So do not forget to say at the end of every salat or after every salat, Allahumma a'anni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibaditika. To say, O oh Allah, assist me in remembering you and thanking you. And perfect ibadah of you, and perfect worship of you. Then Ibn al-Qayyum rahimahullah ta'ala said, فَأَنْفَعُوا دُعَائِي طَلَبَ الْعَوْنِ عَلَى مَرْدَاتِهِ He said, then the most beneficial supplication is seeking assistance to gain his pleasure. وَأَفْضَلُ الْمُوَاهِبِ إِسْعَافُهُ بِهَذَا مَطْلُوبِ وَجَمِيعَ الْأَدْعِيَ الْمَأْثُورَةِ مَدَارُهَا عَلَى هَذَا وَعَلَى دَفْعِ مَا يُضَادُهُ وَعَلَى تَقْمِيلِهِ وَتَيْسِيرِ أَسْبَابِهِ فَتَأَمَّلَهَا Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala said Then the best gift that is given is the urgency of this uh, request. And every supplication that is mentioned in the sunnah is included in this supplication. And it also includes the protecting from that which contradicts what is requested in this du'a. And it completes and makes easy the reasons for having one's an du'a answered, meaning this du'a contains all of these things. And then he said, so therefore reflect upon it. And then he said, rahimahullah ta'ala, وَقَالَ Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah قدس الله روحه تأملت أنفع الدعاء فإذا هو سوال العون على مرداته ثم رأيته في الفاتحة في إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين
Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala then went on to say, he said, Shaykh uh, al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sanctify his soul, which Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah was the teacher of Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim. He said that Shaykh al-Islam said, Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, I reflected, I was reflecting upon the most beneficial supplication. And then he said, and it is the asking for assistance from Allah to gain his pleasure. And then I observed that in Surah Al-Fatiha, that it's contained in Surah Al-Fatiha, in the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ It is you alone who we worship. And it is you alone who we seek assistance. And we ask Allah the Almighty by all of His divine names and attributes to bless us with that which we need and that which we want which is good. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and our ibadah and our isti'ana and all the various types of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabad ala sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tabarak wa ta'ala, subhanahu, bless us to have tawfiq in all that we do. And this ends the first sitting with regards to the four people that Shaykh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyum mentioned. And we'll, in the next sitting, we'll deal with the second category that he mentioned. And we ask Allah, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.